Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing today? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Aquarius. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Aquarius, which cards do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with you, is through the comments. Uh, as well, Aquarius, if you do enjoy this reading, I would be really appreciative of it. Uh, or you just enjoy my vibe, by the way. You don't have to just enjoy this reading, but I guess those go hand in hand. Anyway, Anyways, if you enjoy this reading, Aquarius, I'd be really appreciative if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. And always, I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me. Um, and then before we get into your reading, uh, Aquarius, I just want to say that and remind you to use your intuition when it comes to tarot readings because uh, put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Uh, I believe my tarot readings here at least are just here to provide a some food for thought, a perspective to consider, but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live, Aquarius, not mine and not these tarot cards. So all that being said now, let's finally get into your weekly reading, Aquarius. Starting out, you guys, similar to uh, Libra, actually, you guys have the Page of Water. Uh, Y'all's dynamic is actually fairly different, though, compared to the Libra's um, with your situation, Aquarius. I pulled some cards, by the way, just so I could get an overall vibe for what is going on for you guys, uh, Aquarius. And for you guys, you, it seems like you guys are in the situation of uh, transitions. I'm seeing transitions for you guys, and I'm also seeing for some of you guys, uh, Aquarius. Mm. It's like you've changed your mind on somebody, on somebody or on something. Seems like you've had like a change of heart almost. Like maybe for some of you Aquariuses, you've been waiting for a sign for you to finally like let go of something or to finally be at peace with being able to be like put something into the past and to welcome in something new for you uh Aquarius because you have this eight of water here did I even read off the page of water I don't think I did page of water water is for uh the element for cups uh Aquarius so this card says a new person enters your life uh, uh come on read Velka uh, a relationship begins a new phase and heightened psychic abilities I believe this is more so uh you welcoming in a new energy uh Aquarius because I know this is speaking in terms of a person but this is more so I just like to see things in energy energy can be whatever it is you uh consider it right um but it almost just feels like Aquarius for some of you guys um, it feels like you guys have been like waiting for a sign to transition on from something. Yeah, as I was saying, to put to put the, close the door on something, get it out. Okay, I don't know why I'm struggling so much speaking now, Aquarius. Now, so yeah, with this eight of water here. Now this card says the desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So similar to the message of. Uh, really speaking about spiritual development, Aquarius, you know, this is just as like a tarot reader, you kind of read in between the lines, and you're just like, all right, some of you uh, Aquariuses are definitely uh, waking up to something. It's almost just like you're like waking up and smelling the roses and just no longer having a rose color. Like, it's almost like you realized Aquarius used were wearing rose colored sunglasses uh, with something right or maybe for there i forget where the quote comes from but it was almost like it's some the quote comes along it's something like where it's like uh red flags don't look like red flags through red tinted glasses or something like that and maybe that's like your situation aquarius where it's like you're finally seeing the red flags in a situation for uh what they are and um now that you're able to see them, you're moving on from it, right? I just do just see you, you were just like waiting for a sign. And I keep on talking about waiting for a sign because of these next two cards, Aquarius, because you have the Ace of Air as long as well as the Ace of Earth. Earth is pentacle energy and air is a uh, sword uh, energy. When I say ele energy element, right? You get the point, Aquarius. Uh, so, which, uh, as I was saying, when you see two aces here, this is usually when someone's like, look, when an individual Aquarius is looking for a sign. So, when you have 
uh, to these aces coming forward in this way, Aquarius, that is just kind of like identifies to me. Uh, maybe I'm reading too deeply into it, but isn't that my job though? Uh, but yeah, it does feel like you wait, were waiting for a sign to kind of pull the trigger uh, f with this Eight of Water, Eight of Cups experience, uh, Aquarius. It does feel like you're just trying to move on from something. You're just like, you had your foot almost, you almost completely out the door, but you were just having that one small, like, uh, but what if with something. And no, I don't feel like there's like a what if in this situation, uh, anymore for you. This feels like your mind has truly been made, right? With this Ace of Air. We'll get into this one first. This card says, brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth in a situation and a challenging new uh, beginning. Uh, so with this, uh, why is it saying that it's connecting to my AirPods? <laughs> Aquarius, don't mind me. I'm like randomly got the notification that my phone disconnected to my AirPods when they're like dead. So y'all are having some weird experiences in y'all's reading. Watch me try to uh, come back to this reading or like editing this and now the audio just doesn't work because they're somehow connected to my dead AirPods. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm just going to continue on as if uh, with this. Uh, this is why I feel like for some of you guys, uh, Aquarius, you already had your eye on something because there's really not much of a uh, transitional period for this. Like usually for like, I mean, as like a tarot reader, Aquarius, if I'm like seeing someone and they're like in this process of like transitioning on from something that they weren't prepared for, um, right? Maybe they just like got dropped from their job or something like that. Or like maybe they just recently got uh, like broke up from a situation right maybe there's like a divorce or uh, no longer like you know like your long-term plans with somebody or with something uh no longer is happening right and you don't really have like before you can even think about the future of course you have to think about like digest uh and be present with like the feelings that you're feeling and the pain and all of that right and so um where wasn't even going along with that Aquarius. I had such a good message there, but I don't even remember. Yeah. Oh yeah. As I was saying, right? Usually these people are like so focused in on this uh, Aquarius that they're not thinking about the future. For you here, it seems like, I mean, maybe you were in the state of being, you can correct me Aquarius and I apologize if I'm wrong, honey. But it, for you guys, it seems like you already had like an idea of like being like, be like, all right, I'm giving this like one last shot. It has like one very small chance of like proving to me that it's not a failure in some way. Um, and then uh, when I see this Aquarius, it shows to me that you were like, while you had your foot out there, you already had your eye and be like, all right, but this doesn't work out. I'm going to be doing this over here, right? So Aquarius, um, let me see here. Um, we also have for you, because I have, I don't think I ever showed y'all this card. Uh, you have the life experience card, Archangel Kemwell, and when you have the life experience card, I'm pretty sure this is the tower card. Um, this is just like a very like calm way of saying the tower card, <laughs> Aquarius. Um, but like you keep on having all these signs where it's just like, completely just moving away from an old situation. And so, yeah, like, it seems like you already had your eye, like you're, like you're planning, like you're anticipating like something falling down, uh, Aquarius and so on some level. And then Ace of Earth comes in here where you have your eye on the prize. Uh, this card says an inflow of abundance, a promising business venture. Uh, I said that word weird, didn't I? Uh, and an important document or contracts. So Aquarius, so it's like, this is what I feel like you had your eye on already. Like you had, like your foot was almost out the door with this old situation, but you didn't really want to pursue this one thing and really start trying to bring this to life um, until like you this came crumbling down um on some level aquarius and i feel like i'm trying to remember y'all's uh reading from last week aquarius but i do feel like for some of you guys you were in just in this process of transitioning into um this page of water like really starting to have thoughts on this so now it seems like this week uh for you aquarius is now you know, i'll read off this card the life experience card Number seven, by the way, I don't know if I remember told you to write that down, but write that down, honey. Um, Archangel Kemwell. So if you're open to working with Archangels uh, Aquarius, this is the one to be uh, working with is Archangel Kemwell. So 
this week anyways. I actually work with him pretty uh, regularly throughout the years, but as I was saying, the card itself, it says, honey, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wings. So yeah, this is where you start spreading your wings. You're waiting for that moment to that sudden event, right? Or that significant life event, right? Um, that And that gives you that powerful revelation that just then I feel like just greatly changes everything for you Aquarius but I feel like this is I can't help but feel like it was just calculated a little bit on some level I know calculated sounds so like conniving but it's really not I don't mean it in this way it just feels like you kind of just had this in mind it was almost like you kind of knew on some level that something wasn't permanent like or like something about this was going to come uh crashing down and again I know I'm probably coming like speaking this in such a way where it sounds like like an extremely negative message but i really don't get it in this way like you have overall really good cards it just feels like very um if i were to summarize this aquarius it just feels like you're having a very bitter uh sweet a very um bittersweet experience with something um, and then you have the sun card and the ten of wands here yeah like it just feels like it's a bittersweet experience right it's some heavy uh baggage that you're having to let go of right that's like you're just like that final string but then you have it all in the name of like the sun so it was like it's in this message aquarius where it's like that like it was essential for you to do this but it like It's just almost like you have, like, you know that, like, some type of pain has to be experienced by some, either by somebody else or by even you. Um, there's some level of pain that you have to experience in something for you to get to your happiness, right? And you're kind of at this point willing to experience that pain now. Maybe before you weren't really fully ready to make that transition um, and put to rest some old situation because maybe of like what it would mean for you to like put a, put to rest this old flame, this old like whatever. But now it feels like you're ready, like very much so like a coming of age almost. It feels like some of you Aquarius are just coming into your own and just maturing. So I like that. I celebrate you for that. So now, uh, those are the long message for what it is you're going through, but it, it makes sense with the message that came through, like why it was so long. But now, Aquarius, let's get an idea of like the blessings that are in the works for you this week, right? Let's see what's going on there. Let's make this a little bit lighter. I know that message in of itself, Aquarius, wasn't really even heavy, but it just like it was just very solemn. I don't know if I'm using that word properly. Solemn, solemn. Mm -mm, sobering. No, solemn. I'm going to stick with solemn. It just was a very so uh, solemn energy. All right, so blessings that are in the works for Aquarius this week. We have the Wheel of Fortune. This card actually wanted to come out in my other tarot deck for you, um, Aquarius. I don't, of course, yeah. This deck, this the Wheel card wanted to come out to you in this other deck that I have to the side, but I didn't pull it out because I was just like, oh, maybe this is just the card, top of the card uh, on the deck. So I didn't really consider it. I, I do all my readings on my bed, by the way, Aquarius. So that's if you're wondering that. If I'm always, if you're wondering why I'm like looking side to side and stuff and like reaching over, it's because I have like all my tarot decks all around me on my bed spread out. So <laughs> yeah, as I was saying though, you have the Wheel of Fortune coming out and I feel like it was just a double message. Like it really wanted to come out for you. You have the Eight of Pentacles, or yeah, Eight of Pentacles with the Two of Wands. So yeah, this is just like a really confirming to me where it's like, it just feels like the wheels are finally in motion for like, uh, where it is that you're finally like ready to go with your life, Aquarius. It just feels like a lot of good forward motion and um, let's use an analogy of where it's just like, you finally said like your goodbyes. Aquarius to something and now that you finally said your goodbyes you can start this new life you can take that plane and go to wherever it was and just like go into this enter this new phase of your life right I know it all just sounds so dramatic but it I mean it kind of is right with this two of wands here I mean even how things closed off with your old chapter uh Aquarius it was dramatic like it just like it, even though it's like for the best, and you know, you're going towards your sun, you're happy, uh, your happiness, right, Aquarius? It still is a bittersweet experience having to like let go of like this old situation to bring in this new stuff. And even with this new stuff here, it's almost just like 
intimidating it feels almost to force some of you guys just because it's like um this is what you've been like working so hard for right um i kind of feel drawn to pull some cards from a different deck and i don't know where that deck is honey We'll use this one, I guess since, yeah, we'll use this one. We'll, we'll use the Necronomicon deck, Aquarius, since this the wheel card tried to come out with this one. Eight of Cups, yeah, really focusing in on the message, Aquarius. I don't feel like this part happens until, like, this part happens. Like, the wheels don't start turning for you, Aquarius, until you have that Eight of Cups experience, right? That Eight of Cups is where it's like you make that transition. You're move, putting distance between you uh, and something, right? Because that's what the Eight of Water is, is the Eight of Cups, right? The desire to move on. So there's something that you need to move on from before you adopt this new journey of sorts. And you could still even be in the same field for whatever it is that you're doing, Aquarius, right? It just feels like now, like, what you're, like, anything that you're putting your energy into now, like, this new journey is, like, all unfamiliar to you, even if it's, like, the same field of work or like whatever your storyline is aquarius um so it's just really interesting so now aquarius those are your blessings coming what is it that you should be looking out for this week right let's do some do some cards on that let's see here what is it that aquarius should be looking out for no, we're not doing that what is it that aquarius should be looking out for this week when I say looking out for, this is just like uh, working on even with yourself, holding yourself accountable, you know, all that good stuff. So you guys, major, all major arcanas, Aquarius, you guys got the moon card, the fool card, as well as the tower card. Um, Aquarius, I'm gonna be honest here. There still might be some plot twists and turns in before this, like a chapter closes, or there might be some plot twists and turns, twists and turns that you weren't anticipating with this new path that we're talking about. Regardless of what or whatever side it is, I can't really tell which way. It's one of those things of where it's like, don't be, stay on your toes. Don't feel like it's going. It's not going to be so black and white with this transition during this whole transitional process for you rather which i suspect a lot of you queers already know that but there's definitely going to be in this i know this, this sounds ominous but i don't mean this in an ominous way it just feels like ooh. I keep on seeing like Alice in Wonderland and to be quite honest Aquarius I've never really watched Alice in Wonderland like fully like in detail so I'm not quite sure like the whole storyline behind it or like how it quite works in like the tunnel or whatever uh in Wonderland I guess is what it yeah Wonderland but it does feel like anything's just like really possible I know that sounds so cheesy and corny Aquarius but I just keep on hearing like where it's just like anything is possible and in your journey like in your Wonderland whether it's good or bad, good or bad, it's just going to be very, very interesting, I guess. I know that sounds so ominous, and I don't mean it that way, Aquarius, but uh, y'all know me. Like, for those who are normal to my channel, vouch for me. I'm not usually like this. <laughs> I promise you, Aquarius. It's very interesting. Especially just with everything that's happened for y'all's reading, even like with the headphones, right? For those to be acting up, and I've been... Like, they've been dead for hours now, and I've been recording for a hot biscuit, Aquarius, so there's just no reason for it to randomly do that. Uh, Oracle cards now. Uh, Rattlesnake card. The experiences you're presently going through are your initiation to becoming a healer, Aquarius. This is more so just a cheesy way of saying, um, uh, Aquarius, that you're essentially just, um building some character through this right this what it is that you're going through this is definitely just part of the process basically the repetitive message as i was saying before uh aquarius aware just that eight of cups energy man you just gotta let things go right it's all part of the process is it really something you just need to remind yourself of moon oracle card new moon and eclipse expect a powerful change this is the ominous message partially uh, aquarius right because just especially you consider what i was saying before about like that moon card where it's just like things could be up in the air like that moon card that we had and that tower card it's very much so where it's just like 
big impactful changes just out of nowhere right and it could be positive those you know getting that call back from something right or it could be something dramatic and a not so pleasant way right only way to find out is to go through the week honey so now let's just see the stone for the week or crystal of the week that my Aquarius could be working on uh, and connect with. Or if my Aquarius are just trying to find an, an excuse to buy a new stone or crystal. Let's see. All right. You guys got Pedalite. Pedalite? 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 Number 42 equaling to six for numerology. Uh, Pedalite. I'm going to be honest. Or is no clue about this stone. So if you look it up, let me know. Let us know in the comments below and the properties of it. But uh, yeah, Aquarius, that is the reading that I have for you this week. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below how this reading resonated. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Aquarius, I do the weekly readings for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, I would appreciate if you were to send my video to them and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, Aquarius, I love you so much. Bye.